What's going on guys? And I'm here playing more seven days to die. And uh this is my kind of kicks or tips, tricks, and uh other things series that I'm gonna start doing. Uh and basically I'm gonna cover different topics, such as the topic we're gonna talk about today, which is wellness, talk about the heat map, talk about uh cooking, crafting, all that stuff. And um the reason I thought about doing this is because I, I noticed my, my beginner's guide um, had around 2,000 views, which is pretty good, so it seems like there's a lot of new players who watch my videos, as well as, uh, who even told me they're new, and, you know, they're trying to learn how to do stuff. So, this is Wellness 101, guys, and, um, if there's anything I miss, put it in the comments below to just help people out. Um, I don't know exactly everything from this game, but I know quite a bit. Um, so, but I, I might miss something, so, let's get into it. Your wellness, it starts off at 100 when you spawn in the game. Uh, and basically what this does is it increases your health and stamina as much as your wellness goes up. Now you have a maximum wellness of 200 and it will increase your hit points and stamina by 100 points. Um, now the th thing with this is it's very easy to lose wellness in the beginning, but once you're high wellness... You're a little, a little overpowered. You're, you're doing a lot better. Now, I wouldn't say overpowered. You're doing, you're just very hard to kill. So, um, there's three ways you can lose wellness. Uh, one, you can die, which takes off 10 wellness. Um, the second way is you can go hungry, uh, and you lose wellness sporadically. There's no certain number. It's just if you don't keep eating, you're just going to keep losing wellness, um, and that's there's no set points uh, and dehydration obviously it's the same thing as food if you're dehydrated all the time you're just gonna keep losing wellness randomly um, there's also a fourth way okay and basically what that is I don't have these zombies here um, but a zombie will sometimes hit you and stun you and it does have a chance to um, take you down in wellness by one so there you go um, now, the thing is, you can never go below 30 wellness. Once you hit, th let's say if you just keep dying and dying, you will never go below 30 wellness. Um, so you'll never hit zero or anything like that. But if you're at 30 wellness, it's really hard to come back up. Now, I'm going to show you a couple things that give you wellness. Um, so, antibiotics, obviously they get rid of dysentery and the infection. And you're immune for 24 hours after you take it, but they also give you wellness. Um, now, it's not just immediate, from what I understand. Uh, it was. You get one wellness right now, and I think you get one later. So let's see. No, you get both now. Okay. So they did change it. Um, you just get straight up two. So if you find antibiotics, you ha ha kind of have to make a choice. Do you want to save them in case you get infected, which is very possible? Or do you want to use them now and gain a little bit of wellness? Personally, I save them. Um, unless I had an abundance, if I had like this stack or something, I just keep popping them because why not? Um, the other way is supposed to be vitamins. Now, um, I don't, I think it's, I don't know if it's fixed, I mean, and they may have changed and I could be wrong, but from my understanding, they put this in to increase your wellness, uh, but it does get rid of dysentery as well, but I, it doesn't seem to work for me, so I could be wrong, and they could have just changed it at the last minute, but from what I understood, it was supposed to increase your wellness, but, um, because a lot of people were having trouble with the wellness when Alpha 10 just came out, but I, I don't know what happened to it. So, <laughs> that's that. Another way is you drink golden raw tea and you stay hydrated. Um, it's not going to be instant. Uh, generally, when you eat and drink, when you're really hungry or thirsty, if you're running around and um, doing all kinds of stuff, you're going to gain wellness um, rather quickly. Uh, my basic regimen when I first start off is golden raw tea and bacon and eggs. Um... Food is a little scarce during the beginning, but you can always kill pigs, and, uh, you know, you can always find eggs in bird's nests. So let me show you guys the bird nest, if I can find one. Let's see here. And you can see the green is my food going down, if you did not know. Why is there no bird's nest? 
Uh, and yes, I have the, the zombies disabled for this series. Um, it's just me basically explaining um, things to new people. I'm out of stamina. And you're going to notice, once you get up to 200 wellness, man, do you, can you run forever without coffee or beer or anything like that? Where's a, where's a bird's nest? Okay, so here's one. It says nothing, but generally bird's nests will have eggs and or arrows. Obviously, it's not 100% of the time, but again, it can. Um, so, to increase your wellness, golden rot tea, and then if you eat... I usually try baking eggs, but if you eat anything, in all honesty, and you're really hungry, and you just see, look, my wellness just went up. So my health and stamina just increased by one point. Um, so when you eat and drink and you keep your, you know, your your hunger and your food meter up, you're going to gain wellness rather fast, uh, rapidly. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you find a stack of antibiotics and just keep popping them, you're just going to increase your wellness like crazy. Um, but the best way to do it is literally just food and drink. Uh, bacon eggs is what I recommend to start out with. Obviously, canned food, if you can find enough of it, you know, eat as much as you want. Um, the other things to consider are vegetable stew and venison stew. Another thing I want to talk about uh, really quickly is that not all foods give you health anymore. Um, as you can see, bacon and egg gives me a three health, uh, whereas can of chili gives me five health. Um, but not all foods give you a ton of health anymore. That's generally how you would get a ton of health. Um, but they don't anymore. So if you eat vegetable stew, bacon and eggs, anything that you hunt or anything good like that, you will gain wellness. Um, and you really need to. Uh, you need to gain wellness before you come into the hub city, unless you're, uh, you know, a veteran player, I would say. Um, before going to the hub city, I, like, when, I, when Alpha 10 first came out, I stayed around 150 before I even touched the Hub City. Um, just because <laughs> it was so scary. Um, even when you're at 200, if you die or if you, um, you know, starve yourself or, you know, if you're dehydrated, you will still lose wellness. So, it's, it's not something that forever, if you still don't take care of yourself, you're going to lose it. Uh, but the best way to do it is literally just keep eating. If, if you're hungry, eat. If you're thirsty, drink. I do recommend Golden Raw Tea is the best drink in the game. Um, besides, um, you know, coffee. Co but coffee doesn't really give you hydration. It just kind of gives you stamina. But this gives you hydration, a ton of it. It also removes dysentery and burning. So it's, it's quite great. Um, quite, quite great. So... That's going to be it for Wellness 101, guys. If I miss anything, please feel free to add in the comments below. Um, I'm going to be doing more of these series. The next one will probably be Heat Map, and we'll go into cooking and crafting and things like that. And if you guys really enjoy this, I'll just keep doing more and more and more. And I, hopefully this will help you guys out uh, to better understand some of the mechanics used in the game. Uh, and if it does, make sure to hit that like button, guys. And uh, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials uh, of 7 Days to Die. Take it easy, guys.